Hi guys, charity shop gold or garbage. Kinksham today, Click Sergeant, that's cancer and leukemia in children. Spent a pound, got myself a wire controlled uh, Volkswagen bug. So the wire control is just forwards and backwards, and then you've got the pivoting front wheel to give it steering in reverse. It's actually got batteries in it. So there must be some sort of cam in there that makes the engine move. So we've got forwards and backwards. And we've got sound effects, and I love these sound effects. It's just a little squeaker inside the hand controller. I just thought it was fun, a fun novelty, so I bought it. It'll be going back to the charity shop shortly, or to a different charity shop, because I like to circulate them around a bit. But we'll give it a little try on the floor first. Always got to hit the camera now. So that works fine. Great little toy. I haven't even had to put batteries in it. We'll have a quick look inside just to see what sort of cam it is that makes the engine move. But there won't be much else in there, just electric motor and a gearbox. do that one as well. Ah, screws in the front. There we go, electric motor in there, a few gears, oh, and that, yeah, that cam there, that's the one that pushes, let's have a look which way around does it go. Oh no, that cam should be doing something else. Just makes a noise. Hmm, can't see that it does anything else. It's the cam down on that side that moves this bit of plastic. And that's the one that pushes the motor. Hmm. Can't think what that one does other than makes a little bit of a noise. It's got some sort of clicker inside the gearbox anyway. Well, I can see what the clicker is. There's a cam, um, not a cam, a ratchet in there. So 
So it's a little metal spring there is the clicking noise as it goes along. But the clicking noise that I hear when I'm turning that is there's a ratchet in there so that you can turn the wheels without messing up all the gears in there. taking it apart. Need to get that wheel off I think. Yeah, it's coming. That's unusual. They're usually too tight. It's just got a little bit of knurling on the end there to stop it spinning. Oh, another question I had on one of the other cars, what's inside the wheel? Well, I think all this is, is to get the rubber tyre out. So we'll do that first. That doesn't want to come. I think they've glued it as well. Or heat welded it, or vibration welded it. Whatever they've done, that does not want to come apart, whatever I do to it. And you can see the stress fractures around there where I'm trying to force it apart. So I'm not going to go any further on that. But that's the answer to the question. It's The wheel is in two sections with a rubber tyre up the middle and you undo those screws to get it apart to replace the tyre, or put the tyre in there to begin with. But that's stuck together too well for me to get apart, so I'm not going to ruin it. Being as it's a perfectly good little car. Right, back to what we were looking at, which is the gearbox. Screw there, screw there. side we've got a worm gear actually on the motor itself on the electric motor that drives that gear that gear drives that gear that's the ratchet that I'm on about that allows you to turn the wheels without actually forcing it against the worm gear because if you force against the worm gear then you usually break the teeth on the worm gear because turning the gear won't turn the worm gear you have to have a look at worm gears if you don't understand what I'm saying And that gear up under there is the one that turns that. And that's the one that makes that clicking noise. And this is the one that pushes that plastic lever. So if I just push that back together, 
hope that all the bits line up. So we turn that, and that's the one that turns there. And as I turn that, you can see that ratchet clicking over. because it's clicking over it's not turning that gear and that's the gear that would try and force the motor to turn but because it's a worm gear you can't possibly turn it by turning the wheels so they have to have that in there otherwise somebody pushing the car along the floor will damage the gears on the motor So, let's see if we can put this back together. I'll better put the gear, uh, put the screws in first. together now. Okay guys I'm going to put it back together. This is the second time because the first time I put it back together I didn't get that bit of plastic there underneath there. So it was, on, it was resting on top of the ledge there. That put the wheels up too high and they were rubbing on the bottom of the bodywork. So we've got to do this in the right order. That's got to be up there. That has got to go down and underneath. So that's in the right place now. Now we need these screws. Okay, then this, that shaft there has got to go into that hole there, and those bits have got to stick out there. So I'm going to go on there, and I've got to make sure the shaft lines up. Oh, that's easy enough. Quick check. Yeah, that looks good. on there is there up and a down oh, looks like we've broken that, that clip just there I don't think that's gonna matter Together, does it work? Forwards, backwards. I love that horn. 
<laughs> Job done. Do we want to see inside the controller? I suppose we could do. Batteries, 2AA, March 2011. <laughs> Well, they're still working. Okay, so we got a squeaker. And then... Right. So how does the forwards and backwards work? That brass strip there is connected to that terminal on the batteries. I don't suppose it matters which one, but we'll have a look. So we've got two AA batteries in there. Positive goes to that terminal, which is that one. Negative, positive, negative. So that one is there. So positive, negative, and then this brass strip here is going to that positive terminal. That brass strip connected to the negative is the bottom one there. So at the moment, both wires are connected to these springs which are both touching the positive. So if you push this one down, it will make contact with the negative. So positive is on that wire, push this one down and it becomes negative. Car goes backwards. Leave them both alone. Both wires are connected to the positive. Push this one down and it will make contact with the negative. So that wire becomes negative and that one stays positive and the car goes forwards, backwards, forwards. So that's how we got a changeover. Very simple. Let's see if we can get these. That's negative, that's backwards. Yeah, that way, that way. Put the squeaker back in. Forwards, backwards. Very simple. I like that. You know, a nice, good, solid brass contacts there. Nice and big. Going to last a long time. push them both down nothing will happen because we've got negative going to both wires and positive going nowhere let go of both of them and we've got positive going to both wires and negative going nowhere <laughs>